and she speaks on colorism in LA. You know, and she says that it's coming from her own people. I was actually so scared to make this story time or like to talk about this in general because it's so common in LA. Like I was just like, people aren't gonna care. But it's really on my heart to talk about this. Like I really feel like I need to share this story, so. So when I get off work today, I will be making a story time about this clothing line by the name of Kwame Aduse. Um, Beautiful clothes. He's a very, very talented designer. My only issue is that this man is a blatant colorist and he openly goes out of his way to feed into the fetish of LA to get more attention. I was accidentally invited to a fitting for his clothing line and the way that the white woman that runs his production treated me is just laughable. And then the way that I was treated by him when I informed him of my mistreatment, it's just, you're black, babe. <laughs> the thing is, people don't realize that people really don't see worth in black people unless we're wealthy. If you don't fit that fetish, if you're not light skin or specifically African or rich, they do not care about you. I'm sure this man doesn't really care about colorism because he's very successful. He's designed a dress for Sierra um, and just recently Beyonce bought a dress of his. But why are black people so willing to forsake other black people to feed into capitalism, to feed into a fetish and to get more attention for themselves? I don't know about y'all, but me? If I'm in a position to give black people opportunities and genuinely help them, I'm going to do just that. I'm not going to give them spaces to be mistreated by white and light skinned girls when he's literally darker than me. And this is a common, common thing in L.A. I went to a DJ event for this DJ by the name of Black Pages. And yes, bitch, I dropped names because y'all shouldn't have done the shit that you did. This dude was so disrespectful towards me and I literally did nothing to him. I was just with a girlfriend of mine. We were dancing, minding our business. He was so disrespectful towards me. Every time I looked at the DJ booth and we made eye contact, he was glaring at me. And then he went out of his way to invite two light-skinned girls up on the DJ booth with him. And then all together, they were talking about me. Again, I was looking the fuck good that night and I was minding my business. I was with a dark-skinned friend of mine. We were just dancing, minding our business. But you realize I just told y'all what the problem was. These motherfuckers hate themselves and it may be normalized in LA, but baby, it's not normal to me.